Our big focus this afternoon is on the Supreme Court's indictment of BCCI Chief N. Srinivasan. Let's cross live to, Srin to Shivani for more. Thanks a lot, Simi. Supreme Court coming down hard on the BCCI and its chief saying that a fair probe in the IPL scam is not possible with N. Srinivasan at the helm. Uh, though the Apex Court did not explicitly order Srinivasan's removal yet, the court did, however, say that the BCCI chief should step down if a fair probe in the matter is to be conducted. The court said the contents of the Mudgal Committee report submitted to it in a sealed envelope are damning and that it was nauseating that Srinivasan remained BCCI chief all this while. The court also wondered why he was sticking to his chair, saying that if he did not quit, it would be forced to pass an order. The court asked the BCCI lawyer and we quote, take a look at the sealed envelope and decide not as a paid lawyer but as an officer of the court whether Srinivasan should step down or not, unquote. Listen in to what the petitioner Aditya Varma had to say after the hearing. Sealed Lifafa ko ke upar baat aai aur unho ne BCCI ke lawyer ko mananiye nyale ne kaha ki agar cricket ko aapko saap karna hai to Srinivasan ko step down karna padega. Agar Srinivasan step down nahi karenge to hum verdict pass karenge jo bhi verdict hoga. To phir unho ne bhoot nanu kar kiya to court ne unhe bula ke portion dikhaya Lifafa ka aur unko कल परसों तक के लिए समय दिया है वो अपना विचार रखेंगे माननीय न्यायालय ने कहा है कि श्रीनिवासन जब तक के स्टेप डाउन नहीं कर, करते हैं मैं आपकी कोई बात नहीं सुनूंगा आप क्रिकेट को क्लीन करने की बात करते हो लेकिन गंदगी तो आपके अंदर भरी हुई है द पिटिशनर्स मीनवाइल हैव डिसाइडेड टू गो फॉर द जगुलर स्पीकिंग एक्सक्लूसिवली टू हेडलाइंस टुडे नलिनी चिदंबरम काउंसिल फॉर द पिटिशनर हैज सेड दे वुड सीक द सस्पेंशन ऑफ चेन्नई सुपर किंग्स एंड राजस्थान रॉयल्स फ्रॉम द आईपीएल सेइंग द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन वाज अ बिग विक्ट्री फॉर द फैंस चिदंबरम आल्सो सेड द एंटायर स्कैम हैपेंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ श्रीनिवासन्स कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट सर वी हैव बीन फाइटिंग the conflict of interest issue from the year 2009 without much success but today the uh, mudgal committee report the confidential report we do not know what is the explosive material which was contained in the report because only mr sundaram council for bcca was permitted to read the report uh, extract from them and uh, the finally the supreme court said uh, he has to step down Mr. Srinivasan, saying which the Supreme Court will pass an order directing him to step down. So they have asked Mr. Sundaram to take instructions from Mr. Srinivasan and report on Thursday day after tomorrow. The matter has just been adjourned for one purpose: to take instructions from Mr. Srinivasan whether he will voluntarily step down from the post of President of the BCCI. Only for that limited purpose has been adjourned. If he comes back with the instructions that he doesn't intend to step down, then the court has made it very clear that they are going to pass an order directing him to step down. The betting scam has occurred because of the conflict of interest of Mr. Srinivasan that the BCCI failed to take corrective steps to stop betting and spot fixing in BCCI because the president himself owns the franchise. The whole issue is the Malays are certain because of the issue of conflict of interest. So I'm happy that issue will get settled. That nobody can have any conflict of interest while holding such a high position. Meanwhile, the International Cricket Council, the ICC, has refused to be drawn into the controversy, saying the matter was internal to the BCCI and it had no comments to offer at this stage. My colleagues Rasesh Mandani and Srisha Reddy are joining us from Mumbai and Chennai respectively. Also former Mumbai captain Shishir Hatangri is joining us uh, uh, live as well. Shishir, I want to come to you first. Your first reactions on this massive, massive observation that has come from the Supreme Court. Srinivasan and the BCCI have to fall in line now. Uh, doesn't seem any other option at this stage, uh, Shivani, because uh, if the Supreme Court has uh, instructed uh, the BCCI and uh, Mr. Srinivasan to step down, uh, failing which uh, I presume uh, they will pass an order <coughs> for him to step down, it, it, it means uh, at the moment it seems game set and match and uh, if Mr. Srinivasan or the BCCI refuse to respect uh, uh, the apex court's observation and suggestion then what you're doing is uh, you are forcing the supreme court to 
uh, take a decision on, on passing an order, which would be not only a slap in the face of the BCCI, but also on the game of cricket being run in India. And that to me is a, a bigger worry. And you know, Shishir, this conflict of interest soared. This, you know, this elephant has been in the room for six years now. Shinivasan has brazened it out. The BCCI has not stood up to it. The ICC has not stood up to it. The ICC, in fact, is in line to make N. Shinivasan its first chairman in June or July. I mean, finally, at least we are seeing some action on this conflict of interest issue, which everyone knows really is the root cause of this malaise today. Uh, yes, uh, it's been six years. I mean, uh, the IPL has been going on for six years. There is a conflict of interest. And I think everybody who got into the IPL in terms of uh, the other teams were well aware of it. I don't think uh, anybody who is involved with the IPL is not aware of uh, what are the set rules uh, within, within that cozy club. So, uh, to me, uh, you know, the Supreme Court coming out, I mean, it, to me that is the biggest loss and the biggest bigger shame that a Supreme Court has to give you this order whereas this should have come from within the system long ago Absolutely. but uh, sadly you know it's come into public domain now and uh, you're waiting for the apex court the highest authority in India to to, to pass a judgment on something that is being run in India since uh, the, uh, 1939 and that to me is uh, a bigger shame than uh, just uh, you know uh, a conflict of interest issue or uh, or any other issue that plagues the game of cricket today Absolutely. this to me is is the bigger shame that the Supreme Court has stepped in yes it is shameful because the BCCI has allowed this day to come and that is my next question to you Shishir also this is not just about N Srinivasan the fact that the Supreme Court has asked has been forced to ask to you know push Srinivasan out of his position something that everybody had been asking for a year and the rest of the bigwigs in the BCCI failed to achieve this is a slap on the face of the entire BCCI body and the way of its functioning the other bigwigs in the body but it wouldn't have come up if the petitioner wasn't the BR Cricket Association. We must understand that, you know, it took so much time because somebody from within the system uh, appealed to the Supreme Court. Uh, but what it, were the rest doing, Isn't I mean, that question uh, that, that, pertinent? Absolutely, and that, that's what I'm saying. I mean, if, if the Bihar Cricket Association hadn't been rubbed the wrong way by within the BCCI, this matter wouldn't have come up anyway. So, what are we talking about? We are talking about a situation where, you know, there is a revolt within the system for them to have appealed to the courts and gone into public domain. This matter wouldn't have come up otherwise. And, and, and if you look inwards, this is a bigger shame and this is a bigger loss that it took somebody from within the system to go out there and you know you know fi fi go into the courts uh, uh, you know uh, get the lawyers in a a and uh, you know discuss issues like uh, conflict of interest uh, this should have been decided uh, within the system uh, long ago right.